Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you the best way to purchase Monero using decentralized exchanges. So let's get going. Okay, so I've done a couple of videos concerning Monero and uh, how to purchase it uh, and how to download and install the wallet, but I thought I'd do a video on how to buy it I'd say properly uh, so because it is a privacy coin and you would like to remain private uh, you're not really maintaining that privacy when you buy Monero on centralized exchanges in the way that I've uh, demonstrated in the past there's really no problem in buying it on centralized exchanges but uh, if you want to stay true to its nature it's better to buy Monero uh, as anonymously as possible and so I'm going to demonstrate a couple of ways to do that using uh, two different decentralized exchanges. So uh, let's get going. So I've mentioned before that when we use decentralized exchanges, it's better to have the cryptocurrency that you're spending in your own wallet uh, in case something goes wrong, in case they need to refund you. So what we need to do is uh, we want to buy some Monero. Uh, but in order to buy the Monero, we need to have some cryptocurrency uh, starting place. All right, we can't just go down to the 7-Eleven and buy Monero with cash. That would be nice, but we can't. Uh, and so we want to use a cryptocurrency that we already own. Here's the exchange that I'm going to use today. I'm going to uh, use some Bitcoin to buy some Monero. Uh, this is the Changely exchange. Uh, let's, uh, you can see there's lots of different cryptocurrencies that we can convert. Uh, two if we have uh, something that we already hold so and then on this side we have quite a few as well uh, you can actually use US dollars here but then you would have to provide a credit card uh, which kind of breaks your privacy and anonymity so we're going to use Bitcoin today there we got lots of choices but I'm just going to use the big boy all right and I may choose uh, to change this amount uh, when we get into it and then I'm also going to use block trades uh, which is another decentralized exchange which we can use to exchange uh, cryptocurrency, uh, different types of cryptocurrency. We've got some Bitcoin in a wallet that uh, we want to exchange for Monero. Okay, so we have our spending wallet. Now we need to uh, prepare our receiving wallet, the wallet that we're going to receive the Monero into. So uh, I am going to use the uh, Monero desktop wallet is probably your best way to store and hold Monero. You can do it with a paper wallet as well, but uh, for our transfer and uh, demonstration purposes, uh, this is a little easier. So uh, I'm just going to open up the wallet. And if you don't have this downloaded and installed, I've got a great video on how to do that. Uh, just go to my uh, channel page and search for Monero. You'll find all my uh, Monero videos. So we're going to launch Monero. And for the purposes of this particular video, uh, I'm, going to, I'm not going to open a previous one. I'm just going to start a brand new wallet. This will uh, be the welcome screen if you've never used uh, your Monero wallet before. So we're going to hit English and we're going to create a new wallet. All right, and you'll see there that they're going to give you a seed phrase. Very important. You'll want to write this thing down on a piece of paper and store it in a safe place. All right, and uh, I'm going to just call this one Test Wallet, and then uh, we'll hit this arrow to the right. And it wants us to enter a strong password. All right, and then we'll hit Next. And I'm just going to leave the daemon settings at the default and there we go and I'm gonna hit use Monero and you'll notice it takes it a, a second or two to get going uh, starting uh, the local node uh, the Monero desktop wallet is a full node uh, desktop wallet is full node cryptocurrency wallet so it does have to download the entire Monero blockchain to your computer in order for it to work and this might take a while now, if you are using the Monero wallet currently, as I am, that uh, 
blockchain data has already been downloaded to my computer so I really just need this wallet to sync up to that and it shouldn't be a big problem because uh, it's a brand new empty wallet in fact while we're waiting for the wallet to sync we can even go ahead and start our transfer because we do have uh, a receiving address which we can copy into our clipboard now we've got the address of our uh, receiving wallet for our exchange so let's go ahead and uh, get going on that exchange uh, we'll go ahead and use changely and uh, let's figure out how much we've got to spend um, in our ledger live we've got 0 0.008 uh, Bitcoin so I'll start the first transfer with 0 0.004 right? about half of what we got in there right? which is uh, you know about 20 25 bucks worth of Bitcoin and we want to exchange it into uh, Monero and it's going to generate about 0.226 Monero the exchange here so let's get going let's hit exchange now they want us to confirm uh, exactly what we want to do here it says it's going to take between 5 and 30 minutes so let's hit next and they want my Monero address first and foremost that's my the wallet that I want to uh, put the funds into at the end of this exchange the receiving wallet which we just uh, copied from our brand new Monero wallet okay uh, we don't need a payment ID because it is our private wallet uh, payment IDs are for vendors and exchanges that uh, share an address between multiple recipients uh, and that is not our uh, case today we've got our own wallet with our own address so we don't need the payment ID so I'm gonna hit next and they'll ask us to confirm that we don't need the payment ID which we don't all right and then we want to uh, they want us to confirm and make the payment so the payment will be from our uh, Bitcoin wallet so we'll uh, confirm and they're gonna give us an address all right so they've just generated a, a Bitcoin address for us we'll copy that into our clipboard all right so now we need to go back over to our ledger live and we need to send that amount to that address that they just gave us. So I'm gonna click send, and the recipient address uh, I just got from them, right? That's the address they want me to send the Bitcoin to, and I'm gonna do the 0 .004 Bitcoin, which as it turns out is about $25. All right, and then I'll hit continue. And uh, I already got the uh, Bitcoin app selected on my device. I'm gonna hit continue. All right, and then uh, they're going to uh, want me to verify the transaction by uh, clicking the button next to the check. That's the security on the Ledger Nano S. All right, and there we go. We sent the transaction. You can also uh, view operational details, and it gives you the transaction ID, where it's coming from, and where it's going to. Mind you, this is... Uh, the uh, Bitcoin wallet that uh, of Changely all right they generated a Bitcoin address for us that they want us to deposit the Bitcoin to once they get it in their wallet they're going to do the exchange uh, to Monero and send it back to my Monero wallet all right and uh, it's still syncing up my wallet so uh, we'll have to wait <laughs> To see the uh, funds come in, which is fine, I can handle that. All right, and then let's go over to uh, our different exchange and we'll kind of get a feel for maybe what might be quicker, All right? So I'm going to go back over here. Instead of uh, Changely, I'm going to use Block Trades. In our case, we're going to send them Bitcoin, All right? And we would like to uh, exchange that Bitcoin for Monero. All right, and they give the current exchange rate. In our case, we're gonna do the point, let's look and see how much is left. All right, you can see that there's about zero, uh, zero, zero point four. I'll go ahead and just stick with the, 
I'll make it a little bit more so I can see the uh, difference between the two, right? I want to kind of figure out which is which. So I'll do uh, 0, 0, 4, 1. All right. All right, so let's go back over here. And let's do uh, 0 0.0041. And it's about the same amount of Monero. And as you can see, they want a Monero address, right? So we'll go back to our Monero wallet. We'll go ahead and use that primary address. So I'll paste that in there. Aha! Uh -huh. See, it liked that. That's okay, I guess. All right, so now all we need to do is get the Bitcoin deposit address. So I'm going to hit this. And there we go. It's uh, just generated a, a Bitcoin address that it wants us to deposit the Bitcoin to. So we'll copy that into our clipboard. All right, we'll go back over to our uh, Ledger Live and we'll go to Send and we'll paste in that address. All right. And uh, let's do our uh, 0 0.0041. All right, and then we'll hit continue there. And it wants us to open up the Bitcoin app on Ledger, which I've already done. And uh, I'm going to need to verify the transaction again, right? So we'll just hit this. And there, we've just sent the transaction. So now we've sent out two transactions uh, that are going to decentralized exchanges uh, that are going to uh, generate Monero and send it back to our Monero wallet. All right, so I started poking around in the wallet and uh, it looks like there has been one uh, transaction that has come in. Ah, okay, so I can go to block trade and I can uh, check out there uh, how long it took. It says it's completed and it gives me the local time which is 11.29 then I can go over here and see that's 11.34.24434 uh, .2434908 that looks like uh, that Monero, right? So what it looked like was that Block Trades did it first and uh, Changely is keeping me waiting Haha, <laughs> it's I'm still waiting for that one, right? Uh, I've uh, heard some uh, tales. Changely takes a while when you're dealing with privacy coins, and they may even ask for KYC uh, documentation. So uh, we'll see if that's the case. And if it is the case, then uh, it might mean that uh, Block Trades is your uh, better bet uh, for transferring Monero uh, or purchasing Monero. Uh, as a decentralized exchange. If you'll notice here, uh, my Changely uh, required an email to activate the account. Now, uh, and that could be uh, a leak of your privacy to a certain extent. You could also uh, get an anonymous type email, and it's a little difficult to do, but it is possible. An email that's not uh, it's associated with you personally. But as you can see, uh, the transaction is taking much longer uh, on Changely than it did on Block Trades. Block Trades uh, almost immediately uh, executed my uh, exchange and sent me the Monero. All right, so at long last, we we see the other transaction has finally uh, arrived in our wallet. Uh, of course, it is going to take a little while to uh, confirm. See, we're we're still at nine of ten confirmations. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it, the one on the top. So the one on the top is the most recent one. That's the one we've basically been waiting on. Uh, and let's take a look over here because uh, they said that uh, they're estimating that I was going to get 0.22 uh, when in fact I only received point, uh, zero, uh, 2.20665427. Uh, obviously this is the same transaction so uh, why their estimated amount uh, was low uh, and let's check out what that is 0 0.02 so uh, let's get this back here let's do a 0 0.02 Oops. Uh, we're looking at two dollars and 25 cents that I may have lost 
uh, from some fee or whatever, uh, according to their website, the, the, uh, they're still sending. Uh, and they've got this estimate as 0.22. But as you can see in the wallet, the transaction has arrived, but it's only 0 0.20. So uh, another black <laughs> another black strike for Changely on this one. Uh, so kind of to recap, we've got uh, we did two uh, decentralized exchange uh, transactions uh, where we sent Bitcoin and we were waiting to get Monero in exchange. We use block trades and we use Changely. The block trades happen faster and it didn't require us any kind of sign up information. Um, we didn't have to give them an email. All we had to do was go to their website and put in the proper wallet addresses. Uh, Changely, uh, they require an email to open an account and it took much longer. And then their estimate kind of uh, the final amount sort of changed. It wasn't a huge amount, but uh, on a much larger transaction, it might have been uh, substantial. So uh, it, it looks like in this case that Block Trades did a much better job than Changely. But both of them can be used to purchase uh, Monero on decentralized exchanges. All right, so there you have it, guys. If you have any questions about anything I did on this video, please throw them up in the comments. I uh, will do my best to get back to you and uh, answer your questions. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. Uh, join me and throw out any questions that you may have. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell down there that you can click that will uh, allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.